and Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace to those who elect. All right, I want to do um do a lesson on this scripture right here. Uh, Amos. Is it Amos? Let me see. It may be a. Uh, Amos 5, scripture speaks about the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. All right. Here it is right here. This is uh, Amos 5 and 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh Bashim Shai. To what end is it for you? All right. So what is your expect? Matter of fact, let's read that in a, another version. What you going to get out of it? What's your expectation of it? When all hell break loose, because the day of the Lord is when all hell breaks loose. All right. When, um, you know, when those famines, when those matter of fact, let me grab this scripture right here. Give a, a clear example of all hell breaking loose. Second, as is 15. And 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, right? And woe means destruction. For the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, right? And one people shall stand up and fight against another, race wars and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, right? You're gonna be, it's going to be uprisings against the government, all right? Uh, you're going to be invading one another for a uh, lack of bread. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, right? You're not going, it ain't going to be no law. It's going to be pandemonium. It says, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So it's going to be like the purge. Whatever somebody want to do, they're going to go out and do it. All right. Fear of punishment, all right, is not going to stop them. All right. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So city's going to be cut off. All right. Like how you see in the um in the movies when they have the doomsday scenarios, the, the end of the world scenarios. Cities be cut off. They always show that. It says for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. All right. A man shall have no pity upon his his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. All right. Let me see. Uh, I'm jumping to verse five. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon, upon the world, the sword, famine, death. And destruction. All right. And get one more. Uh, this one I wanted, but that was good too. Second Ezra 16 and 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? All right. So because you're not going to be able to deliver your stuff. Your gun, your gun not going to save you. The money you saved up not going to save you. Your investments not going to save you. Your little plans and goals. All right. Yeah, you done saved up a whole bunch of beans. All right. You you done started your own little homestead. You got some chickens. You've been collecting your eggs. You've been preserving them. You've been canning. Which those things, uh, you know, might help a little. You know. But ultimately, if you don't have, you know, they might help a little in the beginning, per se. But hell, if somebody raids you and busts you in the head and, 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 and take them, then what? So ultimately, you got to have the covering and, and the protection of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to escape those things. All right. It ain't going to be by your own wit, if you will. So let's uh, let's grab that uh, the Amos five. 
and read that in a few to see what some other versions say. Amos 5 and uh, 18. All right, let's read the NLT. What sorrow awaits you who say, if only the day of the Lord were here? You have no idea what you are wishing for. That day will bring darkness, not light. Yeah, you people have no idea what's coming, man. All right. Uh, CSB version. Woe to you who long for the day of the Lord. What will the day of the Lord be for you? It will be darkness and not light. NIV. Woe to you who long for the day of the Lord. Why do you long for the day of the Lord? That day will be darkness, not light. Right, because... You ain't got no hope of salvation in the day of the Lord. That's why uh, it says, uh, I'll read it again, warn to you that desire the day of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. To what end is it for you? So you ain't got no, no expectation. All right. You ain't got no hope. It says the day of Yahweh by Hashem Shai is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a bear and a bear met him. Oh, pardon me. I read that wrong. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall while he leaned his hand on the wall to catch his breath. And a serpent bit him. Right. Verse 20. Shall not the day of Yahweh by Shimei Shai be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. So basically it's telling you is 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 evil and only evil. Right. Like when you read in the book of Ezekiel, let me grab that real quick. Ezekiel 7 and 5, which this whole chapter goes in. All right. I'll just read verse. Uh, okay. It says, Thus said the Lord Yahweh the Most High, and evil and only evil, behold, is come. And the end is come, the end is come, it watcheth for thee, behold. It is come. Right. So that's what the day of the Lord is. Evil and only evil. Everywhere you turn. That's why I said as if you did flee from a lion and then the bear met you. Then you ran into a, a house and then a, and leaned your hand on the wall and a serpent bit you. All right. Three uh, predatory animals. All right. Highly dangerous. Now, let's look at... um. I went into just looking to some of these animals real quick, right? Uh, now, a lion, all right? The lion in particular, and the uh, and the, the the you know what they call the big cats, the feline fa family. All right, let me see. Uh. I have, let me see. All right, it says the feline is the highest expression of the killer. And amazingly, in equal measure, the highest expression of mercy in the animal world. For only the feline will kill its prey first before consuming it. Unlike bears, dogs, hyenas, reptiles, and fish who will eat their prey alive. You know, I'm I'm an animal planet buff. I like the I always have like the animals, watching them or whatever. And you see that you see that amongst lions, you know, the uh, uh, tigers and uh, you know uh, leopards, jaguars. You know, you get hurt and you know and you suffer in the process from a lion attack, but you know they kill you and then eat you. Okay, bears don't do that. A bear is a is a, a bear is a ferocious creature, you know, especially them brown ones. All right, the brown bears is 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 not to be, you know. Now, you got this guy here. I'm gonna play the video. A guy named uh, Timothy Treadwell, which he didn't tread well. He was supposed to. Be, he was infatuated with bears, and, and when you watch the video. Of the guy, if you ever see him, you know, the, the dude's weird. Definitely got that Edomite swag on him. You know, he wanted to live with the bears. And, you know, it's just a, 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 
how can I word it? And then or my opinion, just looking at the video and just watch, looking at the guy face and seeing him amongst the bear, like he had an inordinate affection for the bears. Like you can love the animals without being um that much of a fanatic, right? But anyway, he went and lived with the animals for a while. That right there, his girlfriend was scared. She didn't want to, when you read the transcripts of what happened, you know, she was scared. She didn't want to be there uh, as long as he did. But they was out there living with him, living with the bears, you know. But it just so happened, well, he ended up getting eaten by a bear. Him, then his, 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 his woman too. All right, but he got he ended up getting eaten by a bear, and he was always recording, you know, their day to day life, and it just so happened uh, the last six minutes of uh, the bear attack is recorded. Now there's a lot of fakes out there. All right, it's, you can't it's hard to find. All right, but they did a documentary on this. And the guy who did the documentary, he actually had the last six minutes. So, and, and instead of playing it, he just describes what happened. And I read the description. And this video fits the description. All right. So I'm going to play it just to give a, a visual. Fair use. Just for educational purposes. Yeah, man, them bears ain't no joke, man. You know, they, they, not only you got to worry about their, uh, their, their mouth, you know, with their, their fangs and their teeth, but they got the claws. They, they got the agility. They fast, they quick, they can climb trees, man. Bears is, bears is a very dangerous animal. Hebrews 10 and 31. I'm um, start at verse 30. For we know with him that have said, vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, said the Lord. And the day of the Lord is the vengeance. All right. The day of the Lord is him paying, uh, is, is, is basically judgment. All right. Back in second, as 15, I'm gonna go back to the, uh, Second as 15 and 7. It says, Therefore said the Lord, 
Verse 8, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. So when you suffer something, that means you, allows it, you allow it to go on. So the Most High is not going to continue to allow these things to go on. And how does, he, how does he stop things that he don't like? He stops it with judgment. He stops it with, uh, with, with signs, with, with, uh, with fierceness, all right? Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them, right? The scripture says the Lord is known by his judgments that he commit within the earth, which he exercised in the earth. So that's just how this is how the most high is going to start responding to all the wickedness that has, you know, happened. You know, and is that everything, everything is going to be tailored to the in individual. All right. How ironic that he was so infatuated with bears. The Lord used bears, you know, his judgment ended with, with the bears. All right. Uh, where was that? Right. Uh, Hebrews 10 and 34. We know him that have said vengeance belonging unto me. I will recompense, said the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. Verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, right? And that was a very fearful situation right there. Like I said, they, uh, when looking for the original transcripts, they say it's a lot of fakes out there, but that one right there fit the, uh, fit the, uh, the description. You know, they said it was a, they said it was a, a, a woman out there, um, they said in the in the description on the original that um, it was a woman uh, screaming, um, "Play dead, play dead," you know, from um, from the tent. That's why it sounded like she was a little far away. So you know, whether it's real or not, the the point has been made, right? So then I, now you got the serpent, right? So the serpent, you know, you got four different types of snake venom, right? You got the different types, uh, proteolytic, proteolytic, however you say that, neurotoxic, uh, hemotoxic, let me see, proteolytic, blah, 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 neurotoxic, blah, 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 right, hemotoxic and cytotoxic, all right, now neurotoxic, they say that's the, the least painful, OK, but the most painful is the uh, is the hemotoxic and hemo means blood. So that is just the hemotoxic is just straight up cell damage. All right. And I ain't going I, I, you know, I read a little bit of this article. I ain't going to go into it. I'll just speak as I remember it. All right. Um, yeah. And then they say the most painful snake bite, the most painful snake bite of all is the Russell's Viper that you see up here, the Russell's Viper, you know. But yeah, the hemotoxic venom, that's the straight up cell damage, you know, uh, uh, your red blood cells, the, the, the tissue, organs, they said it's extremely painful, okay? So basically, that's an analogy, all right, for what the day of the Lord is, all right? It's like, it's like a, 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 a lion attack, a bear attack, a snake attack, right? Some some very, uh, very fearful things, man. Very very fearful things. But then also too, those things gonna happen and occur. All right, there was a bear. Um, there was a bear spotted of like a year or so ago. And I'm out here in Indianapolis. This is the capital of Indiana. Is a uh, a populous city, city of maybe uh, one million, maybe about one million, one point five, something like that. Everybody over here, people from California, and more people coming in, you know, because the industry, jobs, whatever, 
you know, Haitians, Nigerians, whatever. And uh, they had like this little division called Lawrence. And Lawrence, it ain't no, you know, woodsy, foresty country living. No, it's, it's, it's town. Businesses, roads. And it was a bear spotted out there, man. And the scripture speaks about wild animals shall change their places, you know, for various reasons, you know. But so this is a this is a uh, a very real life scenario to be attacked by these animals. All right. And not only that. It's scriptural. And ain't going to be no medicine looking the dead of the Lord it ain't going to be no medicine. You ain't going to have access access to the antivenom and all of that. So that's just going to be something you have to deal with, like the one movie that came out. Uh. What was the movie that just came out on Amazon? We was all talking about it. Let me let me pull it up real quick. Uh, the movie on Amazon, man. Let me see, man. Or was it uh Netflix? Hold on. I can't recall it right now, but that's all right. We'll get it. It should be coming up. The Equalizer 3 was actually good. What is it? Leave the World Behind, right? Yeah, this movie. Leave the World Behind. You know, and there was a scene. There was a scene in this movie here. Leave the world behind where the the son of, uh, who is that, uh, Ethan Hawke? Uh, uh, whoever that guy is. His son and, uh, what is that woman's name? Julia Roberts? Yeah, I think that, yeah, their son was, you know, had an issue, you know, a medical problem. And they went and found some medicine from, uh, uh, like, basically a doomsday prepper. You ain't gonna be able to find, ain't gonna be no medicine. All right? Especially not no proper medicine. You running into uh, CVS, you think CVS or Walgreens or Rite Aid or wherever, you know, the, the local pharmacy, wherever you from, whatever the name is, gonna have some antivenom in there? No. All right? So you just gonna be through. So this is uh, Ciroc 39. And in 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. So we we coming into the time of the most highest vengeance. He said he will no longer hold his peace concerning their wickedness for wickedness. Uh, 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 con- he will no longer hold his peace concerning their unrighteousness for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. All right, it's done got out of hand. It's went too far. It's overboard. So now we're in the time of his vengeance, right? Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force. So we're in the time of destruction. And appease the wrath of him that made made them. Right, so for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. So the actions have been wickedness. And the opposite and equal reaction is judgment. And that's what's going to balance the equation, if you will. It says fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And we at the, we in that need. We in the time of that need. All right. And look at what's going on. All right. You got uh you got uh about uh let me see, let me put something up real quick. Let me see. Look, let me read this. Operation Brownstone. George A.W. Bush is a known evil blah who ran the congressional blackmail child blah ring during the 1980s known as Operation Brownstone, Operation Brownstar. 
and later to become known as the Finders or the Franklin Cover Up, which I did a lesson on that a while ago. The Finders, right? Which uh, the the Child Protective Services CPS or DP DCS or whatever it's called in your state was basically selling uh young ones, man. And they covered it up. Then the, the woman, the senator who exposed it, what was her name? Schaefer. Her, her and her husband end up uh, dying or getting killed or who knows. But they exposed it and they and nothing nothing came of it. All right. All right. To their famous cock. Uh, OK, hold on. J was sneak blah over to Senator Barney Frank's condo known as a brownstone to their famous cocktail parties where U.S. congressmen and U.S. senators, some willing and some unwilling participants, got a taste of the voodoo drug in their drink. It is interesting that George H.W. Bush used the term voodoo economics, a slanderous term used by George H.W. Bush in reference to President... In, re in, in reference to President Ronald Reagan's economic policies, which came to be known as Reagan. Now, see? That's something right there. All right. Let me see if it's the most stuff on my um. It was something uh, where it was a it was a post on my feed which spoke about eight hundred thousand children, eight hundred thousand children go missing in America every year. All right. It was 800,000, 800,000 missing in America. It was, uh, I'll post the photo post-production, but it was 800,000 missing in America, so many thousand missing in various different countries. Why well, all these children keep coming up missing, man? So it's, it's, it's so much going on on every facet of life and uh, that some got to be done, all right? The, the, uh, the most high... The, the power of heaven and earth, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, he's he about to start acting now. And part of his actions is these, all right? Verse 30, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall, re they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. All right. So with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. Once again, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakudash,